Next step. Let's get the tracker. This is the first important part. This is for fire red, leaf green, ruby, sapphire, and emerald. So, we'll click on this. We'll, if you are familiar with GitHub, this will be very familiar for you. If you don't, don't worry. It's not hard. You can read this if you want. It has the release notes. It has a few more important things. Let's go. We'll download this. Dilemon tracker zip. We'll open it. Thank you very much, WinRar, for sure. I love WinRar. Thank you for being the best company. We thank you. No, today. Oh, I'm sorry if uh, this is in Spanish. I'm Spanish and I didn't change my. Ah, I didn't change my. My settings for English. So there. Yeah. I'm on tracker extensions. I have this already, so we will say yes to all. There we go. The tracker is now downloaded. Next in the line, we'll go to getting started. And here, we'll have the how to start. This, this is very important, the emulator. This is what I run, and I really liked it. You can use, you can choose any of these, or you can, you can choose any of your preference. I really like this. So first, we need to do this. Just to prevent any mistakes that have happened, this uh, runtime error that you can get. I actually got it and I didn't know what to do and I had to go here. It's just a quick install. You will open this. You will run this application. It will ask you for a few changes. Yeah. It will go. It will just install something to prevent runtime errors. There. Now it will show us a new pop-up asking us to make a few more changes. So let's wait for it. This is pretty pretty quick. Of course, you will have all the links in the description. You will all have the, all have the link for the um, for the Discord. So there it is. It might ask you a few more a few more requisites. I have already installed so it didn't ask for me. But it must it might, it might appear a new a new window asking for a few permissions. Don't worry about that. Let's close this, so we don't need it anymore. And now we will download the emulator. Of course, here it is. Linux, if you have Linux, I have Windows, so... If you have Mac, you will have to use another emulator. I'm sorry about that, but... It is how it is, you know? You can change that. So, when the load is over, we'll just open it. Thank you, WinRAR, we love you. We'll extract this on a new... Perfect. Thank you. Uh, we'll say, oh, well, I already have this installed. We'll install it again. I, okay. We close this and let's make the new steps. So, next step is getting the randomizer. Actually, getting the randomizer. What we will do here on resources, just below we did what we did with Java 64 bit. We'll click on randomizer zx. We'll click on there. A new page will appear. We get redirected to this GitHub page, which we only care about Poker Rando ZX. We will just click on that. You will get a zip file that we will open right now. Always thank you, thanking our good friends from WinRAR. You will copy this, everything of this, and you will extract in the specific um, place you want. I usually, like always, I make a new a new folder in the um, in the desktop. This time, I just click it on desktop, so everything is gonna be in the desktop. You make uh, make a, a folder that's called randomizer and just save all of there, and you will be good to go. 